12. Wait, plus what now? Plus negative 12. Did you guys see the negative 12? Yeah. Here's the last problem. Last problem is that plus negative, we're never going to leave our problems like that. Never, ever, ever should you ever have those two signs next to each other when you're done with the problem. Can you, can you think about what that plus negative actually becomes? What do you think? Why minus? Why minus? Yeah, it's like going the opposite way of what we've been doing this whole semester. So do you remember this, how when we had like negative 7 minus 6, we do something like negative 7 plus negative 6. Do you remember that? Yeah. Can't you go the other way? Yeah. Let's go the other way. If we have plus negative, let's just change that to a minus. So from here, we can say this is negative 8a minus 12. Negative 8a minus 12. You have to change it. Why? Because you never leave two signs next to each other. You always write it with one sign. So when you have this plus negative, it's understood that's not really appropriate. We will write that with one sign at the end. Let's do one more together. I'll give you a couple of you on your own to make sure you get this, and then we'll move on. Okay, folks, tell me the number that we are distributing, please. Three. Good, not just three, negative three. I want you to circle the negative three. Do that for me right now. Circle the negative three. How many things, how many terms are we multiplying by negative three in this case? Two. Good, both of those inside. So let's go ahead and show that. We'll do negative three times seven y. Do you all see where the negative 3 times 7y is coming from? Okay. Then what are we going to have? Negative. negative. What, what about that? That minus is still there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Minus. Okay. We have a minus there. And then what do we have? Negative, negative three. 3 times, times 5. So negative 3 times 7y minus negative 3 times 5. Let's do the math now. So what's our negative 3 times 7y? Can you all tell me negative 3 times 7y? What is that? Okay. Then we're going to have minus, what's negative 3 times 5? Negative 3 times 5. Tell me something. Wouldn't that be positive instead of negative? Sure. So should I leave it as minus a negative? Plus. We're going to make that plus. That's just like we did before. Minus a negative becomes a plus. Can I combine these, folks? No. we are done. As far as you can go. Now, I would like to show you something here. <coughs> one, one second, one second. Is it possible, well, firstly, how many people understand exactly what we just did? You're fine with it. Good, OK, good. Now, I want you to look at something. I'm going to teach you right now a shortcut. Are you ready to see the shortcut? You ready? Shortcut. You got you to gotta understand this part first, the shortcut. <laughs> Here's a shortcut. Shortcut says, if I pretend that these are individual terms, I can multiply our outside number times each term, and it will give me exactly what I want at the end. The si you have said this a lot. The signs will take care of themselves. Here's what I mean. Watch me up on the board and follow me along, OK? This is negative 4, true? Mm -hmm. This is positive 2a. What's negative 4 times positive 2a? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we have here. Now, there's just, this is the important one. What's negative 4? Ignore this for a second. What's negative 4 times? We're going to consider this to be not plus 3, but positive 3. We're going to, remember how we did that a while back? We kind of tricked the problem a little bit. We considered that uh, to be a positive. So what's negative 4 times positive 3? What do you think? Negative And we put, instead of negative 12, we put minus 12. We change it back to a negative. The reason why this works is because you can change plus negative to a minus. That's why this works. So if we treat this as step by step, we can actually do this mathematics without showing all this stuff. 
We just let the signs take care of themselves. We think about it like negative 4 times positive 2a, two eight, negative 8a. Eight eight. Negative 4 times positive 3, negative 12. We're just writing minus 12 instead. Do you guys think you can do that? That was dead silence. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. If you can't, stick with this. That's fine. This works every time. If you can, if you want to do a shortcut, then you can just distribute like this. Does it work with the next one? Let's find out. Let's see if we can go directly from here to here without these intermediate steps. What's negative 3 times positive 7y? That works. What's negative 3? Here's what we do. Negative 3 times the negative, negative five. positive. Right, so we're going to do not 5, but negative 5. So negative 3 times negative 5 negative gives us 15. Positive. 15. Positive. positive. So for positive 15, we write plus 15. Are you seeing the connection here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. That's a lot Try, I think so. That's why I like teaching this this way. This way causes a lot of steps, and when we get to big time problems, it just takes too long. Uh, and, and this is where people make mistakes right here and right here. So I don't, I don't like that. Um, I like showing it to you where you just take this number with a sign times each of these terms with a sign. Here's the big deal. Okay, you want to hear the big deal? Some of you guys are zoning out already. I need your full attention. The big <laughs> deal is that you cannot forget about that sign. If you forget about that sign, you're, you're, you're junk. You're, you're not going to get the, You're not junk. The problem's junk. <laughs> you guys are all special human beings. <laughs> I've talked about all sorts of weird stuff today. You should watch my videos from earlier today. We had shifting going on, but she say shift a whole lot. It sounds like something else. We had all sorts of, all sorts of shift going on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, here's the big deal, though, is you cannot forget about these signs. If you're going to multiply negative 3 times 5, it better be negative 5. You have to have that sign with the number. That's the key. Why don't you give that a try on a couple of these problems? There you go. Show me what you got. So we're taking the factor outside the parentheses with the sign times each of the terms inside the parentheses with their signs. As long as we multiply them with their signs, they'll take care of themselves. We don't even have to worry about it. It's kind of nice. So let's look at the first example. What number are we distributing, folks? Six. six. I'm going to circle the six. It's going to one. The first one, the second one, or both of them? Both. So we'll do this piece by piece. I'm going to show you both ways for now, but eventually I'm just going to stick with the quick way. Okay? So the first way is you go 6 times 5 minus 6 times y. You should get 30 minus 6y. How many people got 30 minus 6y? Good. Could you have gotten there directly from here? Sure. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times negative y, you have to consider negative y, is negative 6y. That's where we put the minus 6y. Nope. So you can't go directly from to there. On the next one, we've got negative 3 times 5x minus 8. We'll do the negative 3 times 5x. Negative 15x. Sure. We can do that in one piece if you want, as long as you consider it to be negative 3 and positive 5x. You do negative 3 times positive 5x, that's negative 15x. And we do negative 3 what? times... Was it, is it, are we going to look at this as 8 or negative 8? Negative negative eight. Eight. So it has to go with the sign, like this. Negative 3 times negative 8 gives you... Positive 24. Got to be real good with your signs, don't you? Real good with your signs. So we're going to put what down here? 
Plus positive 24. Yeah, we don't just put 24. Okay, it's positive, yes, but what we mean by positive is that you can add it. Uh, yeah. You're adding to it. Okay, so we don't just leave it 24, we put plus 24. I'll show you the other <coughs> steps if you really want to see them. Here you can show negative 3 times 5x minus negative 3 times 8. That's going to give you negative 15x minus negative 24, and that changes to the plus 24. So either way you want to do that is fine with me at this point. Would you raise your hand feel okay with doing these, these two? Good. We're going to try a couple more. I'll give you some more to do on your own. Hey, do you suppose anything changes if I have more than one variable term inside of my parentheses? Can we still do it? Yeah. Yeah, why not? All distribution really means is take whatever is outside of your parentheses, number, variable, whatever, and multiply it times each term inside of your parentheses. That's really all it means. So what number are we distributing here? Five. As long as we make sure it goes to both these terms, we're fine. So let's do this using the shortcut method like we we're trying to learn here. We'll take our 5 times our 2x. What's our 5 times our 2x? And then we're going to think of it five times what? Negative four. Negative four. Good. It goes with the sign. Remember, terms always go with their sign. That's how we can remember this. Terms go with their sign, so five times negative four y gives you how much? Twenty-one. Twenty or negative? negative? Negative. So if it's negative twenty, what am I going to write here? Minus twenty. Minus twenty. Y. Don't forget the y. Hey, can you combine these? Yes. No. 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 Why or why not? They are the same. What makes like terms, like terms. Same variable. Same, variable. Same, variable. same variable raised to the same exponent. That's what makes oh, them like same terms. Exact letters. Yeah, oh. same variable. I think I gave you the apples. Did I give you the apples and oranges? It would be like saying you have 10 apples minus 20 oranges. What do you get? No, you get ten apples and twenty oranges. If you have ten apples and minus twenty or ten apples and twenty oranges, can you combine those? You get negative ten of oranges. That makes sense. Yeah, we can't we can't do that, right? This is not going to make. This is not going to make this. Here's what people often do for a mistake. They go, oh yeah, sure, negative ten x y, right? That's usually the mistake they would make. If that's the case, tell me something. Um, what would that would be the same thing, right? Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah. These would these have to come with different answers, otherwise they'd be written exactly the same. So you'd have to have a difference between this and this in your mind somewhere. If these both give you the same thing, one of them is wrong. One of them is wrong. And it's it's of course this one does not combine to make negative ten x one. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about before I give you some on your own again. Negative parentheses, x, y, what in the world? What's that even mean? Thanks a lot, Mr. Lewis. I know, what a jerk I am today. Make you sit through math class, make hilarious <laughs> jokes that you all laugh at. I mean, what a horrible class. What are you supposed to do here? Yeah, skip it. <laughs> Done. That's what I usually do. 